A child's toy from an unlikely source, made from other people's unwanted waste. This is plastic, so we print it with the 3D printer. Okay, and, and you made this 3D printer? Yeah, yeah, we made a 3D printer okay. from, from e-waste material. So we recycle uh, old uh, printers, conventional printers, and we take parts that we use to make the frame. Uzia is one of a growing number of young entrepreneurs who sees the potential of e-waste uh, as an emerging business in Togo. His vision is to empower children through science. Our hope is that we, we, we produce and sell the, the science set that will help students and mostly kids and girls be interested in science and solve the, prob the problem we have in our communities. It's estimated nearly half a million tons of used electrical goods arrive here through the port of Lome every year, from old mobile phones and laptops through to TVs and generators. There's a rising demand for the latest second-hand electronics at bargain prices. But we've been told that 80% of imports that are sold at markets like these no longer work. Despite international conventions that ban the movement of non-working electronics, they find their way to these shores, hidden inside vehicles that have been shipped from the West. This market wouldn't let cameras in, so we filmed what we could on our phones. Where the TV is from? Uh -huh. Germany and Holland. Oh, Germany, Germany and Holland. Holland. Wow. How many do you have? 130. 130 TVs. And if these electronic goods don't work, they'll likely end up here, in landfill sites across the capital. And just look at this. The cover of a slide projector. And if you look closer, you can actually see that it was made in West Germany. Almost three decades after the fall of the Berlin Wall, this ended up here. A sobering example of how Togo is fast becoming a dumping ground for the world's unwanted e-waste. For those dismantling discarded electronics come serious risks. Toxic materials like mercury and lead can be contained within them. There are people here who are trying to reprocess this material safely in recycling centers. But even Hervé Chamsi, whose business depends on discarded technology, is concerned about the long-term environmental cost. There are lots of people who make a living from the fact that e-waste is coming into the country and regulating it would reduce the amount of money that can be made. But a lot of the waste which arrives here is dangerous, so we should really think about the impact it could have on our environment. Despite these challenges, initiatives are cropping up across the capital, including here, where children as young as 10 are learning ways to recycle electronics safely. In a country with limited job opportunities, startups like these could provide Togo with some of the answers to a sustainable technological future. Wahiga Mwaura, BBC News, Togo.